feel kind of awkward wearing that before everyone else was? Um, I've, I've always been blessed with, I guess, a confidence, so I guess... Praise God, praise God, praise God. Is that what I need more of, or...? No, you're good. You're good. I, I, I have more confidence than I have talent, so it, like, takes over. What I'm wondering is, can we bring capes back? Capes. <laughs> I, I, I think you should, like, stick to preaching, man. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> My lawyer just said, oh, it was not good. Okay, so anyways, um, <laughs> but just, I'm just curious because Nate Brown who's here today, who, who, who works and is a part of Donda. Y'all make some noise for my friend Nate Brown. We're so pumped he's here today. He goes, he goes, ask Jared, like, how did he come up with that, that silhouette? Because I think he wants us to do your ideas, but for real, like, how'd you do it? Man, it's, it's a product of my environment. I, I live in Los Angeles where you can never really look like you're trying to be cool. And you, and you have to, when you leave your house, it's like you never know where your day may take you. So you may go to the gym, or you may have a lunch meeting, or you may have a dinner, and you kind of want to be swaggy for all those different... Swaggy. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> and you, you, and you, and so you want to kind of show an idea of like proportion and silhouette, even if like you're in your gym clothes. So Larry kind of gave me that like cool way to. Oh, okay, maybe he's not just going to the gym or he's at lunch, but he looks cool. So I guess it's okay that he's in drop crotch shorts or. So I appreciate I that. that. <laughs> Second question on that same thing is, what is it like to see so many people taking that reference and using it all over the place? Does that make you angry? Does that flatter you? Are you humble? Are you happy? Should I, should I, should I get my lawyer on it? What should, what should we do? Man, that, that's such a good question, man. And it's, you know, right now it's just humbling. You know, it's like when I find myself getting mad and getting angry, like how am I going to get upset for what God gave me? You know, so... You, you, you can't, you can't, you can't, too, you can't put too much in your own what you think are your own gifts. You know, you have to always recognize um, where those ideas come from. I receive that. I receive that. Um, Maybe there's some people like maybe today that are sitting here kind of going, man, like, to be honest with you, you guys are talking about clothes, and I thought this was, like, about the Bible, and I, I came here to really, you know, meet Jesus, and you guys are talking about swaggy and dopey, <laughs> and the rest of the 12 dwarves. Um, so, <laughs> Praise Jesus. So, and maybe you go out, well, why does this even matter? And I think this matters, for, for my opinion, and I want maybe to comment on this, Jerry, is that, once again, we're trying to impact culture, and I think fashion... I think music, I think poetry, I think art, these are all languages of our culture. And the church... Us, that's a lot deeper than that. Absolutely. But we still have to recognize, uh, you know, the culture and time period that we live in and understand how to operate. Totally. And, I know some people are going, you know, God looks at the heart. I know, God looks at the heart, but God asked you to go and fish for men. Right. Men don't look at the heart, men look on the outside. Yeah. Some of you would be able to reach a few more people if you just actually tried every once in a while on the outside. Food for thought, food for thought, food for thought, food for thought. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Give us what you want. Uh, Jared Bear. Um, <laughs> is it okay if I call you Jared Bear? I think we're there now. So. I, was a, I can only kind of speak on my um, experience, but even in my imperfect life and even when I was uh, still throwing parties and in clubs and um, trying to to live right, I was still obedient and, and trying to create this brand that was for him, and he honored that and continued to help me work through whatever shortcomings I had in my life. Um, I would just encourage you to be obedient to God and to realize that your gifts and your talents are from Him. So, and and those gifts are to be given to the world. Um, so you can only tap into your gifts when you tap into him. And so, that's pretty good stuff. That's pretty good stuff. Hey, I thought something would be kind of cool if we did something that was kind of impromptu, but I thought about it before. I just didn't tell these guys. Um, I think Jerry is out in the world, and um, 
not everyone that walks up on this platform, I didn't have them up here today to say you're a preacher or to say, hey, you're the example for everybody. I had him up here because he's a person who's in process, who's on the journey of faith we're talking about last night, who's saying, I want to reach my destination, I want to get there. And um, I just know that when you're out in the world trying to make a difference, a lot of times the church is actually not really for you. Sometimes they can actually be even louder at being against you. And uh, that's not the church, and that's not the movement that we're raising up. We're, we're a church, and we're a movement that wants to celebrate those that are in the world trying to make a difference. Uh, we want to we want to applaud and cheer. We want to cover weakness. We want to really leverage and push forward strengths, and we want to be a place that's a covering, and we want to be a place that says, "Hey, we've got your back." And you know, Jerry's doing some amazing things that have really never been done, and I just believe this is just the start. And uh, Jerry, I'm just looking at you right now. I think I think the best is yet to come. And I think everything that you're preaching right now, as you continue to apply it, you're going to see things that you could. You know, there's a great scripture, Ephesians chapter 3, that says that we serve a God who does exceedingly and measurably more than we could ever ask or think. And that's what I'm going to pray over fear of God. And I just thought for a moment, it'd be really cool. Carl, is Carl in here? Carl, do you mind just. I want to see if Carl would just run up here real quick. Carl's in New York, one of my one of my heroes. I love this guy so much. And maybe Pete's um, just run up here. John Gray run up here real quick. I just thought maybe we would take a time. And maybe in the conference, we just take a moment and we reach our hands towards, towards Jerry and we pray for him. I'm going to ask Carl to pray for Jerry. And then I just, I just want to see the best happen in this company. I just love his heart. I love what he's trying to do. And man, he's here this week. He just completely donated these t shirts, the sick design. And uh, I just believe that uh, I want to make sure he leaves here more blessed than how he came. So, Carl, would you pray for him? And uh, y'all want to stand up so we can just. Can't